Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning and I'm here at the Syracuse AQS Quilt Week and we have a winner. And her name is Terry Cherney and she's from Henniker, New Hampshire. And congratulations, this Thank is you. the best long arm award. Shocking. Oh, well, you did a beautiful job, and obviously the quilter or the judges thought so too. Well, thank you very much. Uh, all right, so tell us a little bit about making the quilt. A handwork, machine work, what did you do? I pieced a lot of machine, but I did all of the uh, points, hand applique down, uh, putting it all together. And uh, it, it, I just designed it so I could do more quilting. I wanted to have fun with the quilting. Well now, you have a lot of different quilting designs in here, and so did you draw them on the quilt? Did you go wing it and just do them free motion? No, I had to mark the quilt uh, before because all of these were done ahead of the quilting. So I had to know where these were going to go, so I had to mark everything in the curves, I had to know where all that kind of placement was going to be. All right, now I'm guessing people might want to know what did you mark your quilt with? The uh, water soluble, blue. The blue water soluble yeah. pen? Yeah. And then of course then you have to wash it then when you're all yes. done, don't you, yeah. to get that out to yeah. make sure it's all gone? Yeah, I soak it for a bit. Do you? Yeah, and then block it out. Well, and I commented about your beautiful edge treatment on this quilt. You know, I like borders and you've done a great job with the piping and then the binding on the very edge. Now, what happened when you did that? Uh, broke four needles. <laughs> <laughs> but to begin with, I didn't want to design out the border unless I knew I could master it, if I could put a binding on something with the curves and these points. So I made up a small, that went around the corner, uh, sample and bound it to make sure I could get, you know, all of the 45s and, and everything just right before I dared to design it and cut it. Because if I then cut it and couldn't do it, it would, wouldn't have been real good. Well, anybody who has put a binding on a double wedding ring will appreciate the beautiful job that you've done no, on this edge because it's very similar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and so how long did it take you to make this quilt? Uh, I think I have around 300 hours total, yeah. maybe 150 or so in the quilting, somewhere in there. I, I forget now, but it, it's, uh, it was a few months. I know that it. a lot of times people think because we machine quilt that it's really fast. Yeah, no. When you do this amount of quilting, it is not so fast, no, is it? No, no, no. And when you're new at it, it's not fast at all. <laughs> you're still trying to figure your way through. And you told me this was your 17th quilt that you've done on your long arm now? Mm -hmm. And what kind of long arm do you have? An Innova. Innova. Yeah, so it's all free motion quilted. I just wanted to try new things and I didn't want to have rules. I just wanted it to be fun and, and uh, you know, not be so structured to piecing, you know, having to get the quilting and certain piecing and that kind of stuff and just wanted it to be kind of free. Well, and so when they're here at the show, or even we'll have Alan do some close-ups on your quilting because it creates a lot of secondary designs in yeah. the background with the quilting that you've done. Oh, thank you. Well, congratulations again, Terry. Well, and we you. are so glad you entered the Syracuse show, and we hope we'll see many more quilts from you. Well, I hope so. Thank you very much, <laughs> and it was lovely to meet you.